What's something that a friend or classmate did in high school that was seen as funny at the time, but you now realize was actually not okay? My friend faked her own kidnapping. I was all fun and games until the police started chasing her kidnapper's van, harassing and mocking the teachers. One of them even got a nervous breakdown because of it and was on sick leave for half a year. Freshman year of high school, someone left a shaving razor in the locker of a girl who had a light mustache. Can't imagine that helped her self-esteem at all. Pantsing somebody in front of everybody? Is that even allowed anymore? That was so commonplace as a kid. Wearing a mirror on your shoes to look up skirts. Even teachers thought it was funny that students occasionally did that. Reading all of these responses makes this quote I've heard resonate better. I have a lot of respect for junior high and high school teachers because they're dealing with some of the dumbest kids on the planet. Had a friend that went to the pet store and bought feeder mice-like for snakes. He will pull up beside of a car with a sunroof open or convertible and throw the mouse inside of the car. He threw the live mouse in somebody's car at a red light. When I was in middle school, some kids spiked our family and consumer sciences teaches chili with sleeping pills. I'm pretty sure someone told, so she never ate it, but that could have ended really badly. Rewatch the Revenge of the Nerd movie and see how many awful things they should have gone to jail for. Our religion teacher went into the cupboard for supplies. She was quite strict and not liked, but now I'm an adult. I realize it doesn't excuse what happened next. The class clown snuck up and locked her in the cupboard. We all thought it was hilarious at the time, and we all left the class. She was in there for the rest of the class until another teacher found her in there crying an hour later. She took two weeks off after that. Few messed up kids in my primary school lit a teacher's car on fire just because she gave one of them failing grade on midterm. It wasn't one of the mean teachers. She was mostly nice to students. Cops got involved, but don't think they got punished accordingly. I know one of them was in and out of juvie already and were all around 13 to 14 year old. One was even in Nazi thing. I know later on those kids got all tangled in dealing in robbery probably all went to jail at some point. Living in the Netherlands, classmate was showing on his phone a whole online shop he claimed to have with all kinds of drugs and weapons. We thought it was funny because we didn't take it too serious. He dropped out of school early and turned out to be a big drug dealer. Well, we could have known, I guess. This kid's used to smell girl's seat right after she leaves. Once he smelled something funny and asked the other guys to smell get seat. This girl was called poop because of this guy. What a wired fetish. This was in elementary. My dad bought a brand new bike for me and I rode it to the park and these older kids came up to me and asked if one of them could take it for a test drive. I said, okay, and about 10 seconds in, I see the guy riding my bike being pushed off and my bike being stolen right in front of me. The older kids helped me look for my stolen bike, but growing up, I realized that they plotted this whole thing. And yeah, I basically gave my brand new bike away. My maths class once made a teacher cry and quit. She couldn't speak English that well as she was from Poland. It got to the point where classmates hid her bag and hid items from the bag. One day, she had a nervous breakdown and we never saw her again. It's only now you realize that something like that just isn't on at all. Pretty disgusting behavior, to be honest. There was one kid in a group three years ahead of me in a religious school. He was super volatile and it made him easy to pick on. I used to laugh at the jokes and his reaction too. Although I did a couple times tell him they only do that because of his reaction. He would flip out, scream and cry. Turned out he was being raped and sodomized by the youth group leader regularly. No wonder the kid had issues. I feel so bad for him now. I had a well-loved teacher in high school who had some sort of intense aversion to glitter. So of course, a bunch of seniors decided to prank him by dumping bags of glitter all around his classroom. The poor man actually dropped to the ground and started sobbing. A lot of the kids thought he was doing it to be dramatic or funny, but it was very clear, especially in retrospect, that he was having a full-blown panic attack. I hope those bad kids learned something from that. A classmate got a new cool bike. For some reason, this other classmate wasn't okay with this, so he threw her new bike in the woods and smeared dogs pop all over it. He was pretty much found out for doing this the very next day. Kids just are the worst people on earth. Earth, Jesus. At safe grade, a guy got handsy with a girl in a tent who was not interested. We all started calling him busy hands, and we thought that was hilarious. It is, of course, harassment, and thinking it's funny was also on us. I never thought it was funny, but a lot of classmates did. There was this one kid that would make fun of a weird girl for both of her parents dying in a car accident. Lots of people laughed, and I still think about it. 16 years later, my mother died from an aneurysm when I was 10, and this kid I thought was my friend. He said something like, it's not my fault. 
your mom died of drug. Like he just assumed she did drugs, which she did, but she was never around the school or anywhere he could have seen her high. He was just being a bad guy. Diabetic classmate using his stabby blood glucose monitor on everyone's leg with the same blade for everyone. As an adult, I realize why the teachers or school hit the roof. Edit. The amount of people asking why it's bad. The same needle is being used, entering the bloodstream of dozens of students, one of which may or could have had a dangerous and transmittable disease or virus. All needles are sharps are one use only. Don't share. I had a teacher, our class tutor, who was lovely, but she was tired of several of our classmates acting like bad guys. One day, during our home tutor class with her, several of them just kept messing about, picking on her, and full-on blanking her when she spoke to them, acting as if she wasn't there. They found it hilarious. Me and my friends were quite close with her, so we stayed after that class and asked if she was okay. She looked at us and just started crying, saying how she's so tired of it and how they make her not enjoy teaching anymore. More, and she'd been teaching over 20 years. The next day, we actually told the class about it, and their faces dropped. I think for once, they realized how far they had pushed her. I felt so bad for her. I remember having what was called the man or mouse test. Basically, guys would take one of those big pink erasers and start going to work on their arms, and the one who lasted the longest was the real man. Plenty of bloody and scabbed up arms around school. I am not ashamed to say that I was a mouse because I never participated. There were plenty of other instances that ranged from questions questionable to outright dangerous. Bottle rockets being shot down the hallway, filling milk jugs with acetylene and lighting them up with a torch, damaging the brand new school bus with a shot put at Sectra. High school was basically a bad show. Two guys holding their arms over a Bunsen burners for to see who could hold out the longest. One of the same guys carving a girl's name into his forearm, the other one making tasers out of disposable cameras and hitting people with them. I went to a Catholic school where a bunch of priests lived in a rectory on the campus. There was one kid in my class who was always getting in trouble and forced by this one particular priest to go do chores in the rectory. We would joke and make fun of how the kid was probably getting abused by the priest. The kid was fairly popular and would get mildly annoyed with these jokes, but also kind of laugh along with them. Well, it turned out the kid really was getting abused by the priest. I think the priest ended up dying in jail, putting dead animals in the teacher's drawer. She was just like a regular person, not a super strict or unpleasant teacher. Quite pleasant even. It was just a stupid prank. But still, if I remember correctly, she changed careers eventually. Not sure if related to how bad some kids are. Edit. Since this is blowing up, and some people expressed concern for the animal, it was found dead. The classmate was bad, but not a psychopath. My first high school was in a fairly green area, so finding dead critters on occasion was not unusual. Honestly, probably the manipulation and attention-grabbing tactics that friends would do to each other, backstabbing each other, and turning your vulnerabilities into weapons against you. The bullying in schools is ridiculous, and now with technology, there's very little options for kids to turn the bullying off because it follows them home via social media, internet, or group chat. That kind of things can leave long-lasting trust issues. I wasn't part of it, but there was this group of three girls who were friends. Two were very skinny. One was athletic, so she was larger than just bones. One of the skinny ones, Moms, did sewing alterations, an athletic girl brought her prom dress to the mom so she could do alteration. The two skinny ones were standing at a locker, mocking her mercilessly for how fat she was based on her dress size. I wish I would have said something, but the athletic girl was already pulling away from them and they naturally grew apart, so I just walked past. Fifteen years later, I still wonder how you could say such horrible things about someone you called a friend. Not high school, but primary. We had an asthmatic teacher and those green board with chalk sticks. Once we found out she wouldn't have class if we'd fill the class with the powder by beating the erasers in each other, she had to move. She would have crisis every day. We were sad. Everybody actually liked her. Edit. Sorry to all the teachers out there. If it makes any easier, on the goodbye party, she made each one a bracelet with those little plastic things. I wore it until it broke for good, like three years. We really liked here. But yeah, hope you get it went to a technical high school. So one week it's academics, next week it's trade school and so on. I had plumbing and our plumbing teacher was an old Vietnam vet who deserves major props once we found his records and what he did. Anyway, he sustained a shrapnel wound and needed very strong medication for it. In 11th and 12th grade, he was gone for the majority of the school year. As bad kids, we broke into his desk and found a morphine patch. Obviously, we thought this would be a fine time to let someone wear it. We as not even fully functioning adults thought it was fine to let an 
another person wear a morphine patch designed for someone much heavier with a higher resistance to it. We finally realized the enormity of our screwed up when someone asked the kid how he felt and he said he felt his heartbeat slowing down. It was a collective O1 moment as everyone rushed forward to remove the patch. He lived and our sub, who was an English teacher and not a plumbing teacher, had no clue it ever happened. We were not a smart group. My teacher went to Vietnam, volunteered for a second tour and carried his wounded friend to a helicopter while under enemy fire when he got wounded. I had a Spanish teacher. This was in Arizona. I found her full name in a yearbook because I had her sign mine in 2008. I'm not sure I should put her name out there, but I'm guessing she's retired now. She doesn't have a Facebook either. Students would lock her out of her classroom, unplug her computer, and they spread an awful rumor that she was with another woman teacher in front of a classroom. She got locked out because a student came back from the restroom and said her car was hit in the parking lot. She ran out and then a kid locked her out. A few kids unlocked the door for her, but that was really sad. This teacher was so kind-hearted, soft, and an excellent Spanish teacher. It was really sad what students put the teachers through. Edit. I don't believe it was racially motivated. She's white, just a little older and frazzled looking at the time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.